Good afternoon, everybody. Tiffany, Dragonfly Studio here. I hope everybody is having a wonderful Saturday. For my returning viewers, thank you for coming back and seeing our, my next episode. Uh, if you're new, uh, welcome, and I hope you are finding my series here helpful in either starting uh, your j first junk journal or maybe your 50th junk journal. I'm not sure. Hopefully, maybe you're learning a couple of new things. Most of what I do is not... Uh, well, it's not magical or extraordinary. I just uh, keep it basic, keep it simple, and uh, put my own little flair on things. So today, I'm going to continue the series. I believe this is episode 10. And we are working on removable ephemera uh, for green eggs and ham. He is getting a little a little more full on the inside. Uh, last time, we worked on tearaway notebooks. So episode 9, if you want to check that out, you can learn how to make those. I promised everybody I would show you the one that we did for the belly band because I mismeasured and um, ended up too big for the pocket I was going to stick it in. So, you know, it happens. But there it is, all nice and dry, and it slides in there rather nicely. It f tucks away rather neatly, and um, lots of space to journal on or leave a little, leave a little note for someone you care about. Uh, today we're going to do some journaling cards. And I thought rather than having to cut up a bunch of paper and um, not necessarily waste time on that, I would go a different route. And I'm going to use up some of the things that I've purchased at wonderful yard sales and estate sales, garage sales, what have you. And, um, and we're going to put some, some unique items into green eggs and ham here. I'm just going to push him aside real quick while I show you what we're working with. So here I've got a couple of card catalog uh, cards. They are, you know, they're thicker than just regular paper. Um, but apparently these are movie card catalogs because we've got Goodwill Hunting and Goodfellas. I just now bothered to read those. Uh, anyway, I picked up a, a batch of these oh, somewhere. I don't even know. And then we've got some old flashcards here. I couldn't tell you. Let's see. Does it have a copyright date? Nope. Um, I've got some old flashcards here. Just, you know, regular learn your math stuff. Excuse me. And then um, and then I've got a little, I guess, maybe a punch card for a time clock. Um, I'm not sure, but it says daily job ticket at the top. Um, it is genuinely this old. I did not dye this. I did not print this off. This came, I found a package of them rubber band together. I know it came from an, est an estate sale. So uh, the coloring that you see on that is authentic. I did not do that. As a matter of fact, all of these are authentic. They are not digital prints. These are genuine um, antique ephemera pieces. So I do try to incorporate those in things, especially, um, like green eggs and ham. He's going to be for sale whenever we get him all done. So I try to include these things. Um, you know, it makes, it makes your, your piece, especially if it's designed, um, for sale or maybe potentially for a, a gift for someone. These items are what really makes the, the, junk journal unique, um, at least in my opinion. Now, obviously, unless you've done this you know, step by step, every step of the way with all the exact papers, there's never going to be another journal like this one. There may be some similar, but um, all of our junk journals that we create are unique in, in and of themselves. Uh, this just adds a little more authenticity to the junk because to the un, uneducated eye, uh, this is just junk. You know, these might have gotten thrown away or recycled or something like that. And so um, we're going to turn them into fabulous art. So uh, this one does have a blank side for journaling, and these two have a blank side for journaling. These two do not. They've got print on both sides, but um, we're going we're gonna to work with that, okay? So let's, for right now, we're just going to start off with our two um, card catalog cogs. Cog, cogs? What's it like? cards. Okay, so apparently there was more Irish to my coffee this morning than I had intended. Um, <laughs> okay, so I just spotted this little guy hanging out over here in my junk, in my scrap heap, and that's kind of cute. I don't know. I might do something with that. Let's set him aside. I'm just going to rifle through the, um, the ye old scrap bin of papers. Um, Somebody commented the other day, it was like, your scrap bin is so, so organized, um, and I'm, it's really not. I just, <laughs> I try to keep it all facing the same way so I can find something should I go on a hunt like I am right now. Now, if you have seen this, if you've ever been in my studio, and I know very few of you have, but um, if you were to come into my studio mid-project, you would think that Hurricane uh, Tiffany has struck and... Um, you might you might run the other direction. <laughs> 
But but that's a sign of creativity, I think, is being messy in the moment. And then, you know, I'll take a little bit of time and clean the studio up and organize. And, you know, because it helps if you can find everything. I am just picking out bits and bobs that strike my fancy. Um, I encourage you to do the same thing. You know, use up those scraps. Um, nothing... Nothing too small. Okay, I can't say that. There are things that become too small that eventually I just, I have to let them go because otherwise I'll hang on to everything and I don't know about you guys, but um, I need to be able to move around in my scrapbook or in my, in my studio, in my scrapbook. That'd be nice. Live inside a scrapbook. Um, so yeah, I'm not really going for color coordination. I am just looking at things and pulling things out as they, as they hit my eyeball. Um, if it jumps out at me, I'm pulling it out of there and we're going to see what we can do with it. All right, we'll start with that. We might find more. We don't know. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm just going to alter this side of this and I'm probably going to leave this blank so that, um, the user, I oh, was something stuck to my finger, um, so that the user of this journal can choose to, uh, draw, write, uh, put a picture on here, um, you know, something of that nature. So I'm just going to stay with decorating this. Now, if you're creating your journal for yourself and you want to decorate both sides, by all means, go ahead. Um, but a journaling card is just that it's a, it's a card that we stick into junk journals, scrapbooks, and things of that nature, uh, that can be added to or written on, drawn on, um, how, however the user sees fit. Um, you don't have to include these in your journal. I put them in journals um, because I, I never know what the what the user is, um, you know, going to want to do with their their item that they purchased. So I'm just going to start layering things on here that I like. Um, I was thinking that maybe this, if I took it and folded it in half, might make a cute little tag. Let me show you a cute little tag. Because the end game for most of these cards will be to go into the pockets that we have created inside Green Eggs and Ham. There you go. Oh, I like that a lot. So, yeah. I'm going to actually go ahead and do that. And then I'm just I'm keeping this simple. Um, you know, these can get as elaborate as you so choose. But this little guy, I'm just going to I'm just going to go in with my stapler and attach him like that. And then I always come back with my stick because I just use a regular stapler. It doesn't, it's not a fancy, you know, tiny stapler or anything like that. I just come back in with this little pair of pliers that I got. If I can reach that. Nope, not from that angle. And I just flatten out my staple. Um, it just keeps the, the top of this from being bulky. And then if I ended up, you know, putting an embellishment or something over the top of that, um, that'll be there. So I have this little piece of a... Uh, I don't even know where that came from, um, but I have this little this little guy here. Um, I'm thinking maybe he had a lady, and I tore the lady off and used her somewhere else. I'm not sure. So I like this little daisy that's on here, and rather than cutting it out, I'm just going to take, take the lazy way out and see if I don't have a punch. Oh, look at there. That's actually almost absolutely perfect. And there we go. Save yourself some time if you can. Um, I might save that. I might know it might not. It might end up in the trash. I'm not sure. So um, I'm keeping my my junk journal cards a little whimsical. This is a green eggs and ham journal that I that I started creating. Um, you know, it's got uh, Doctor Doctor Seuss themes going on with it. Uh, the writing board that we created has a. Uh, oh, what if we do that? Has a picture from a Doctor Seuss page covering it um actually kind of like that a lot yeah okay we got that going on i really really like how this is where this is headed hmm what if since we've got that music note there what if we just take this oh wait hold on hold on hold on I really like that, and I think I'm going to call that complete. Okay, 
So what we'll do is here is this piece will just get torn off there and this piece will get torn off there. And then I'm just gonna come back and finish this out with that. And maybe if I can find the right color. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm just given the, this is I think a piece of either watercolor paper or hand made paper that I've done, I don't know, a long time ago. I can't remember where it came from, but um, so this piece is gonna go down and then this piece is gonna go across the top and this one will come in here and then I'll add my little flower. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull out my glue book here um, and I just glue these, and I don't need that, I need this. I just glue these as I go. Um, you know, this is a fun way to use up some scraps and to kind of be a little, oh, I don't know, free form. I mean, there's no certain template by any means to a junk journal, but, um, you know, if you, if you're, if you, str no, nope, wrong side. If you struggle with, you know, what to do or how to get started, um, you know, just sit down and make yourself some, some journaling cards. They don't have to have a, they don't have to have a designated place to go. I have a, I have a drawer with some junk, junk journal cards that I made from um, a master board. And, um, I am going to do a how to video on a master board here pretty quickly or pretty soon. Um, master boards are great. Again, a good way to use up scraps from, you know, your larger projects and, um, you can take that master board and cut it into multiple different pieces or multiple different shapes and just kind of kind of get a little crazy with it. Those notes, are those notes upside down? I don't know. I can never tell. Um, and if they are, well, that's where they're going to live now. So, um, you know, like I said, don't, I know you guys see me use a lot of little things. Um, you know, but you can see I've just taken a piece of foam, glued it onto a, an old um, bobbin, and now I have an ink dauber. So you know, go with go with what you have. Um, don't run out and buy anything super expensive if you're just getting started. Um, or go and buy all go and buy all of the things. It's 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 yours. It's yours to do with what you please. I like the contrast of the green against that brown, that reddish brown. Um, some of the things I do invest in, good glue sticks, these the, these are Scotch Create, a lot of crafters use them, a lot of paper crafters use them. Um, it's, a just, it's just a good quality glue, it is archival, uh, waterproof, photo safe, permanent, all that stuff, so I don't know so much waterproof as water resistant. Um, I mean, it's paper, you get it wet, it's gonna... It's gonna, it's gonna be damaged no matter what you do. Okay, and so then maybe on the back side of this, what we do is, I'm gonna grab some washi tape. Nothing, nothing super fabulous. Just some little washi tape. Um, I think, I think the little zigzag lines go well with it. Maybe. I walk around in life with some ink on my fingers all the time. My friends who, who know what it is that I do and, and all that, they don't think much of it. But let me tell you, every once in a while I'll catch somebody looking at my fingers like, what is going on there? Um, I wash them, I do, but um, you know, sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you're in the middle of a project and the phone rings and out you go and um, you know, you don't always have time to wash. All right, there we go. We have that little guy going on and then I might do something. This is just a felt tip pen, okay? So I'm just gonna come here and I'm just gonna do a little hand border hand-drawn border. I'm going to ignore the fact that this card has a hole in it. I'm going to act like it's not there because, well, I'm just going to. Okay. 
I want to thank everybody for being with me. Uh, my channel is, is slowly gaining followers, and I am so appreciative of all of you that are here and have returned to watch me and left me comments. If you leave a comment, I will respond to it. Um, and some people have offered me advice, shown me a better way to do things. I'm always willing to learn. I do not. I am, I am not the expert when it comes to this stuff. I just, I just like doing it. It is, it is so much fun. So there we go. So now we have a nifty little journaling card made out of nothing more than an old um, card catalog card. Okay, so there's that guy. We'll set him aside. So now we've got this guy here. So we're gonna we're gonna fancy him up a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna let's see. We're gonna pick this one here. And we're just gonna clip off the corners. those out the way. Well, I could end up on the floor. Um, all right, and then we're going to come in here and we're just going to, I'm just going to antique the corners. I'm not going to go all the way around the corn card. Normally I do, but variety is the spice of life. So we're just going to, we're just going to hit the corners just a little bit with that. Okay. Changes the whole look of the card um, with just a little bit of ink. So there we have that. So now what if we come in and I don't, I'm trying not to cover up too much of the, the print, but you know, if you're going to add any kind of embellishments, that's just, um, that's just the nature of the beast right there. Oh, what if we put this here right next to the edge and then add this guy. I like him hanging over the edge that way. Okay. And since these are going in pockets, um, really all I'm trying to do is keep the width of them um, within the width of the pockets that I have inside, which I know my pages are three and a half inches. So, and this guy is just, he's just a little less than three. So I know he'll fit in the pockets. Um, so I like the way that looks. What if we bring this guy in does it match that blue okay we can just use the we can just use the brown like I said I know this isn't a revelation I'm probably not showing any of you anything you don't already know how to do um, but I promised everybody a series of start to finish embellishments and all and so that that is the promise that I am keeping so, I really like that, but this guy here, he needs something. You know what? I bet I have a word stamp that we could use there. Okay, let's go ahead and get layers glued down. Oh, might be time to change that page. Okay, I'm just going to come in here. Sorry for the sniffles. Summertime in Texas. Yeah, I think we're gonna go right there like that. Okay. Now, give me a second, I'll be right back. I just have a, I just have a little word stamp here. It says adventure. I think I'm gonna push that, stamp that right on there. Let's see. I don't know if I have enough ink in my. Nope, I don't have enough ink in my dauber. That's okay. Never fear. How about we go with? Ooh, that, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull off of that teal blue that we've got up there. Maybe. Yes. There we go. And just like that, we have another journaling card. Now, for this one, I am going to you know, I am going to give it a border, but I'm not going to give it any lines. I don't want to um, 
I don't want to assume that the person using this is going to be doing any writing, so I'm just going to give them a frame. If they end up writing, then the writing has a frame. If they end up putting something else on it, well, that's okay too. My house is so quiet. My kiddo is my kiddo is at his dad's for his weekly summer visit. And let me tell you, as a single parent, it is very difficult to be in a house that is quiet all the time. I miss him terribly when he's gone, but he loves dad and dad loves him and well if you're divorced and trying to co-parent it is a struggle for sure but it is what's best for our boy and so we make it work all right oh no my ink wasn't dry and now i have smudged the word adventure but that's okay i guess it kind of sort of adds to the character we're gonna we're gonna roll with it so there we have two card catalogs journal cards ready to go into green eggs and ham this one i'm going to be mindful of and try to let it dry so i don't smudge um something else on the the other side so i think what i'm going to work with now is this little job ticket now unfortunately this guy is a little too tall for my journal so i'm just going to come up here and cut about an inch and a half of him off um just so he'll stick down inside it i don't mind if things stick up this way but i don't want that much because something tells me it's going to get damaged and i don't i don't want that to go on so for this particular journal i'm going to keep everything in the top and the bottom so i'm just going to come up here and i'm just going to cut right below that line right there There we go. And I'm going to save that because it is genuine vintage. And I didn't even cut that straight. Oh, you know what? Nope, we're going to leave it. All right. So now I think I'm going to come in here. I'm going to use this guy to kind of, um, I don't know, create something unique. Anytime I create a punch out like this, I tend to keep the, the negative space that it creates. Uh, which is the hole that's there and um and for just this reason i think that's going to make a i think it's going to make a really pretty a really pretty card all right let's see where's the line that i'm looking for are those lines not the same they are so this guy's here and this guy is here I'm going to go down one more line. Now, I did not push very hard on that because I didn't want to punch all the way through the paper and damage the card underneath. So I just scored it. Now I'm going to go back. I just made this super hard. <laughs> don't, fo don't follow these directions, guys. Tiffany doesn't know what she's doing. There we go. All right. So now we have something that looks like this. Yes, yes. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. So now what are we going to do? What else can we put on here? Hmm. this and put that underneath a bit. I kind of like the way that looks. Yeah, it's pretty. Or at least unique if I cut that off there. It looks like a mustache. I am not going to, I'm not even going to lie. I've, I've just given the card a mustache. Okay. You know what? Maybe we'll just move on. Um, oh, we could do that. We could do something like that. Or maybe we just add that on there and put a stamp. I'm, I'm definitely going to put a stamp in the middle of that or sticker. Ooh, I have some stickers. Yeah, we could use some stickers there. What if we came in with this little... Oh, oh, that's kind of pretty. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yep, we're just going to... We are going to keep these super simple. I am not trying to make something super complicated. 
uh, by any means. So yeah, so we're gonna take this and very carefully glue along that edge. As you can see, this is made out of an index card. I believe this is one of those times where I was cleaning ink off of my stamp and I just grabbed the nearest the thing that was closest to me and um, and mushed it onto there. And this was this is the end result of that. And then I don't know what I used that punch out for, but apparently I used it for something. Oh, sorry, the camera is wiggling. It's attached to the table there that I'm pushing on. Okay, so then we're just gonna put that like so. Might not be straight, but that's okay. Wasn't wasn't going really for super straight. Just wanted it well attached. And then I'm just gonna cut it off there. Okay, and that's what we have going on there. Okay, let me grab let me grab a little stampy stamp. What shall live inside the frame? Do we know? Do we know? Do we know? Oh, what if we do that? That's pretty, right? I think maybe I might have a pink that'll match that flower. Oh no, that's red. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. This is what happens. Crafting live, you never know what you're gonna get. Oh, pumpkin spice? No, nope, not what I'm going for. Pink grapefruit. All right, well, let's see what happens. I mean, it's a shade of pink up in there. All right, there we go. Okay, this might not show up very well. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a test stamp, how about that? We're gonna use this little piece of paper that I cut off of there. Yep, can barely see it. All right, don't, don't, never fear. Gingerbread, nope. Ooh, how about green? How about we do green instead of pink? There's green on that card there. Mm, yep, nope, that's not gonna work either. I'm gonna have to clean stamp off. Ugh. Guys, I'm not a professional. I only play one on TV. Um, <laughs> uh, sometimes you gotta, you gotta, I mean, it's a, it's a learning process sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but it's okay. I am having fun. I hope you're having fun. Hope I'm not boring you guys to death. Um, all right. Oh, this ink really does not want to come out of the stamping pad. Okay. So I'm just gonna do a gonna do a little another little test stamp. Oh yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay. So these are chalk inks. Um, they do take just a minute to dry. So this will be another one that I set aside. Um, I have learned, have figured out that if you're patient enough and want to hit them with a heat gun, they will dry, but it's just part of the process. All right, so voila, there's our stamp. Okay, so now this one also has a blank backing piece and I think I'm going to leave it, but before we do that, I think I'm going to give this one a little corner hole up here. Um, we're going to set an eyelet in it. I'll show you how to do that. And, um, and then maybe give it a bit of a, a little string dangle or something. Um, we'll, we will figure that out together. Let me get, I'm just going to pull out my, this is something that I invested in from the get-go. It is a Crocodile Big Bite 2 um, and it is fabulous. It it sets 8th inch eye holes, 3 sixteenths um, eyelets, sorry not eye holes, um, and it is also a hole punch. So these guys punch the holes for the corresponding eyelets and then if you push down and move this guy up where he's supposed to be, um, it also sets the eyelets. So um, it's really great. Um, it, it can punch holes. Um, I usually use use the one eighth hole punch for punching holes when I do larger journals um, in order to attach my my spines. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna use the the one eighth, yeah, the one eighth hole punch for this. So I'm going to move my guide back. I was making tags earlier. Um, I'm just going to move my guide back. I'm going to try and show you this on camera if for those of you who, who haven't seen it. So I'm just going to position my paper. If you see the, the little punch come down, um, you can kind of guide it to where you specifically want that hole. 
So like if this was a book that I was trying that the, the big bite part of it lets whatever you're working on. Um, so you're not limited to where you can, um, punch that hole. So now I'm going to drag out some eyelets. I'm just going to use one of these little guys. So now if we shift it over to the eyelet setter, um, you push this all the way to the front. So I use this one here for the 3 16 and then if you flip it over, it will set the smaller ones with the, with the tinier holes. So all we do is we just put this guy in here, push him through, and you got the flat back on the, on the back. For those of you who've never seen an eyelet set, like I said, I'm going to try and do this on camera, but it's, it's a little difficult. Can you see? So, you know, you just got your eyelet punched in your hole and you just give it a good squeeze and it does all the work for you. And then, oh, didn't, didn't smush hard enough. Hold on. Try that again. There we go. And then it's all set and you've got a little protective, um, a little protective corner for your, whatever embellishment that you're going to add. And, um, I will, we will make some dangles, um, in another episode, maybe next episode, I'll show you how to make some dangles, uh, for your cards. But for right now, there's that. Okay. So he's ready to go into, um, green eggs and ham as soon as his stamp gets, gets dried up. All right. How are we doing on time? Over oh, 31 minutes. Okay. Try to keep these a little less than 45. I know y'all are busy, busy, just like me. So here we have just a fraction card. Now, this side's a little glossier than this side, which tells me this side has some sort of protective coating on it. So we're going to use this as the side that we glue stuff on. This will be the side that the journalist either uh, writes on, draws on, or, you know, does, does whatever it is that they want to do with it. So I'm going to use, whoops, flip it over. I'm going to use... This is some, I don't know, dictionary paper. I was playing around with the alcohol inks. So I'm not too worried about protecting this image. I do like the way that the circle and the line, or the circle and the one, the zero and the one. Good grief. Can't talk today. It's Saturday. I had a long week. I don't know about anybody else, but I had a long week. I'm on vacation all this week, so I will be... I will be hanging out in my craft room. It is a staycation, um, which is, in my opinion, the best kind. So let's see. What if we add that to there? I really am just winging this. Nope. If we get rid of the squiggles. And we add this. Hmm. I cannot get away from the fact that that is a mustache. <laughs> You know what? Let's just um, do away with the fact that it's a mustache. How about that? There we go. Did everybody just 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 gasp? She's, I'm brutal. I know. Um, but sometimes when you can't get away from something and it's irking you, you just gotta <laughs> just gotta go with it. Uh, oh, I actually like that on top better than underneath. Okay. So if we want to, if if you if you want to preserve. Um, you know, if you're working with flashcards, you want to preserve the numbers, then, you know, just work, work around them. It kind of creates a, a unique challenge in and of itself. So because this has a little bit of a wax coating on it, instead of using my glue stick, I am going to use my Fabrifix uh, glue. And uh, just to make sure that these things will actually stick to the surface of the note card. Actually, you know what, what would be a better idea than that? is to because I just I know this glue is not going to stick I've dealt with these um these shiny bits um I've just got some 150 grit sandpaper I'm just going to go over here to my trash can so you're going to hear me sanding and I'm just going to sand the surface of this I did this to the cover of our green eggs and ham VHS box um to make sure that the faux rice paper that we used was going to adhere and I mean, you don't have to sand off every bit of it, but you want to break through it enough so that the glue has something to, um, you, you got to create a porous surface is what it is. So now that I have done that, I'm just going to, this is just a, a damp baby wipe. I'm just going to wipe off the dust. There we go. 
And then we're just going to come back with a clean, dry paper towel. And if I had, well, honestly, if I had thought about it, I would have not sanded over the zero and the one, but I actually kind of like the way that the sandpaper has made them look. I don't know if you can tell. It's put some little white marks into it. It's kind of um, distressed it a little bit. So now, where'd my, where'd my, where'd my half a mustache go? This was not it. Oh no, did I lose it? Hold on, let me check the floor. Nope, I don't know. Does anybody see it? Oh yeah, that's because it's blue. Okay, so I am still gonna use my silicone glue. Um, it does have a little bit more of a, a grabbing effect, holding effect than my Scotch Create glue does. And then what I do when I'm gluing surface to surface like this, I just use my finger to bring that glue all the way out to the edge. Yeah, it's already starting to get tacky. So then this just comes up here like so. Yeah, yeah. And then this guy, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna put glue all over this guy because he's gonna stick off the edge, maybe. So I'm just gonna put glue on half of him because there's no point in putting glue on something that's not gonna get glued down right now. I'm gonna end up trimming that part off. Okay. Yep. There we go. And then this stuff is, it's thin dictionary paper. So I am going to use the Scotch Create glue on it. If it wants to peel up later, if I notice that it's peeling away from its surface, I may go over it with a little bit of um, like Mod Podge just to seal the card up. Sometimes when you pick, you know, vintage, genuine vintage um, papers and things like that, there is magazines. If you if you cut out images from magazines, which are, I highly suggest, I do it a lot, um, but they're the paper, whatever the whatever they shellac that stuff with to make it glossy, um, does not like to accept adhe adhesives very well. So keep that in mind um, whenever you are gluing. Like I said, if you're going to invest in something, if you're just getting started, invest in your adhesives. Um, you can't go wrong with them. They will protect your hard work. Um, you know, I know, I know people look at this stuff and they're like, oh, you're just gluing down paper. Um, but for those that are passionate about it and, you know, and, and I, you know, yes, I realize it's, it is just paper glued to paper. However, it's my time. It's my effort. And, you know, I would hate to spend, you know, even what we're almost 40 minutes into this video, that's 40 minutes of my time that if this just, just all fell apart, um, it, it, it would, I would not be okay with that. And I, I don't want your stuff to fall apart either. So, um, like I said, you don't have to, you don't have to go get the crocodile, a simple hole punch and an eye, eyelet setter, um, will do just fine. Um, you know, nobody, nobody anywhere will judge you for not having all the the trinkets or the bits and the bobs and stuff that you see either in my videos or anybody else's videos. I know there's a lot of online creators. I am not the only person out there doing this. Um, and so a lot of us have been doing it for a long time. The stuff that you see me have, um, I have collected over the course of a lifetime. So I've been, oh goodness, I started out with scrapbooking. Oof, I don't want to age myself too much. Uh, started scrapbooking back in the 90s uh, when scrapbooking was just really getting started and companies were like, oh wait, we could, you know, we can cash in and really make some items that people are going to want. And that's when scrapbooking kits and things of that nature started coming out. And so uh, like these scissors, I've had these scissors, oh goodness, a long time. Um, and somebody just gave me another set. It's a, I didn't realize they made them for adults. Um, these are kid size scissors, but, but they work. Um, they're still sharp. I think I've lost, I think one of them over the years. Um, I lost one of the, oh, I lost one. I don't remember which one, but yeah. Um, but you know, get yourself a good pair of scissors, get yourself a good X-Acto knife or a craft knife. 
uh, whichever you're more comfortable using. And because um, those are things that you're going to use over and over and over again. Um, so quality there will save you, you know, calluses on your fingers or uh, broken blades or any, anything of that nature. And um, but otherwise, just um, use your junk mail. Use use old envelopes. Um, I think these flashcards I got from a, a teacher supply dump or whatever at the end of a school year. I don't remember where exactly where they came from, but uh, use what you have. Um, you know that's what where junk journaling got its start. And companies these days will give you any number of reasons to go to their go to their sites and go to their stores and buy their things and do these things. And um, but don't feel bad if you if you just can't or you just don't want to. Um, I love seeing people, I love seeing the things that people genuinely recycle, um, out of, out of other stuff and turn it into fabulous, fabulous art. There we go. All right. So I'm going to call this one done. It is nothing to write home about, but it's cute. It's whimsical. It's funny. The back of it can be used for whatever the user wants to, wants to deem worthy of it. And so I don't want to keep you guys any longer than you've already given me your precious, precious time. I want you to go and, and create. Now, if you've been creating right along with me, then yay, go you. Um, but yeah, but otherwise there you have it. There's four different style journaling cars that will now join, um, the ranks of the green eggs and ham journal that we've been building together. And, uh, I will, we will, we will come back and we will learn how to create some dangles, um, not only for our cards, but also for the edges of our pages. I think that will be our next episode. So I appreciate everybody for joining me today. Thank you so much for your time. I hope I was uh, informational. And if nothing else, I hope it was entertaining and I didn't bore you to death. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful Saturday. If you want to see more of my content, please take a look at my channel. Uh, this is episode 10. We started from scratch with our green eggs and ham journal. And uh, we've gotten up to the point where we're now adding, adding stuffing to him, getting him ready to move on to his destination nation. So, um, thank you all for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a share if you, if you feel the need or feel the want. And, um, until next time, bye.